One of the truly great personalities of modern times, the Aga Khan, has departed the stage of affairs. He was hereditary leader of the Ismaili Muslims, and to celebrate his platinum jubilee in that office, he went with his son to Karachi to be weighed in platinum. Members of the Ismaili sect are spread over Asia and Africa. Their numbers are unknown. Some estimates put them as high as 20 millions. Through 48 generations, the Aga Khan traced his descent from Muhammad. Most of the proceeds of the weighing, more than two and a half million pounds, went to Ismaili causes. In Cairo, convalescing after a severe heart attack, and attended by the Begum and Ali Khan, the Aga received the homage of East African Ismaili Muslims. His eventful life proved that though East is East and West is West, the twain do meet, and on the Riviera, where he was long a famous figure. His Highness attended the wedding of Prince Ali Khan, his elder son, and Rita Hayworth. They were later to have a daughter, Yasmin, on whom the Aga doted. As a racehorse owner and breeder, the Aga Khan won fame in yet another field. Upon the Begum, his fourth wife, he relied greatly in his last infirm years. He had had many triumphs at Ascot, but it was as winner of five derbies that he touched his greatest heights on the turf. What a proud man he was when he strode out in 1935 to lead in Barham, incidentally under the eyes of George V and Queen Mary. Here too, in grey topper, Prince Ali was in attendance. One of his last public appearances was in Monaco at a reception of Prince Ranier and the former Grace Kelly. What a zest for life he had. Today, the whole free world mourns a wonderful man, the Aga Khan. <laughs>